What's up guys, it's Roast back with another Realm video. Today we are going to cover the all important pets. I'm going to start with why pets are important, followed by how to acquire them, then we will talk about what abilities are best, and lastly we will wrap the video up with how to max them out and get those glorious divine pets. If you need help on anything else Realm with the Mad God, I've got a guide playlist linked in the top right, so make sure you check that out. If there are any topics missing that you want more info on, let me know in the comments below so I can make a video on them. I would love if you guys help me grow the channel by liking this video and subscribing. But with that said, let's get started with why pets are super important in Realm of the Mad God. Pets are important in Realm because they provide passive abilities that greatly increase your chances of survival. This is done through things like healing, mana regen, and distracting or damaging monsters. Initially, pets are weak and don't help that much, but once leveled up, they are hugely beneficial and can drastically change how you get to play the game. Pets are also incredible because they don't reset when you die, which means your new characters immediately get a nice power boost. Now that you know why pets are so important, let's talk about how you can get them. To get pets, you need to find pet eggs out in the world, bring them back to your pet yard, and use them to hatch a pet. Pet eggs come in various rarities, common, uncommon, rare, and legendary, and will hatch a pet corresponding to the rarity and family of the egg. The family of the egg determines what skins the pet will can have and what other pets it can be fused with. Pet eggs drop in egg baskets, I'm going to show the sprite on screen, and pet baskets drop from realm gods, like in the godlands, event bosses, and dungeon bosses. This ironically makes farming the godlands and their dungeons for stat pots a good way to kind of stumble on pet eggs on accident. You can also occasionally find kind souls giving pet eggs away that they don't need in the nexus or randomly in the realms, so keep an eye out. Now that you know how to get pets, let's talk about what abilities you want them to have. Pets can have a wide range of abilities, but there are a few that stand out from the crowd. The top four abilities in this order are Heal, Magic Heal, Electric, and Decoy. Heal gives you a bit of HP every few seconds. Magic Heal does the same thing except for your mana. Electric paralyzes enemies that run into your pet, and Decoy causes enemies to occasionally shoot at your pet instead of you. The optimal combo for these abilities is, again, in this order, first slot heal, second slot magic heal, and third slot either electric or decoy. The order here is important because that is how the abilities will unlock, and it, or the order in which they will unlock, and it is also the order in which they will level up. Your pet will only have the first ability when it is common, it will unlock the second ability when it gets to uncommon, and it will unlock the third ability once it hits legendary. If your pet swaps heal and magic heal around for first and second slots, that's okay, but if heal or magic heal is put in that third slot, it will take a lot of investment and time to unlock it, so be a little bit cautious about investing heavily in a pet like that. Also, if you get heal and magic heal in the first two slots, but not electric or decoy in the third, that's likely a good pet to at least get to uncommon max, while you wait for a perfect pet to come along, since that's not too heavy an investment, relatively speaking, and honestly if you wanted to, you could max that pet because heal and magic heal are the really important abilities to have, and the other one isn't really as important. If you personally prefer the other abilities, feel free by all means to take them, but just be warned, they are not likely as effective on all classes and playstyles. Now that you know what abilities are hands down the best, let's talk about how to max your pet and what exactly it's going to take. In order to max your pet, you're going to need a whole lot of fame, a whole lot of feed items, and assuming you are starting with a common pet, 15 other common pets of the same family. 
Luckily, you don't need all of these items at once. You can start with just a few things and do this process over a long period of time. Your first goal will be to find your perfect pet, or yeah, and once you do, max it out at 30 of 30 on its first ability. When you're feeding, you want to try and always use the highest feed power items you can, although this becomes more important the higher rarity your pet is because that increases the fame cost to feed. I believe at common it's only 15 fame to feed, and at uncommon it goes up to 50 already. If you can, and I stress can because I know new people won't have 200 feed power items, try to only feed 200 plus feed power for common pets, 400 plus for uncommon, 600 plus for rare, and 800 plus for legendary and divine. If you don't do this, the cost and fame can start to get ridiculous. Again, you don't have to, but just try to use the highest feed power items you can. Once your common pet is maxed, you'll need to max another pet in the same family to fuse it with. The second pet's abilities do not matter. But, you need to make sure it is maxed, because if you don't max it, the Fuse pet will not be able to get to the max level anymore, which is super, super bad. Once these two pets are fused, congratulations, you'll have an uncommon with two abilities unlocked. Max this pet the same way uh, you just did, and do the process you just did again to get your first rare, and then duplicate the process again for a legendary, and then duplicate that process again for your divine. The level caps for each rarity are going to be 30 for your uncommon, 50 for your, sorry, 30 for common, 50 for uncommon, 70 for rare, 90 for legendary, and you max out at 100 for your divine pet. I hope this video tells you guys everything you need to know about getting a maxed divine pet and that your grind goes by quickly. If this video helped, please, please, please subscribe to help me grow this channel and let me know in the comments what other kinds of guides and videos you want to see next. I hope to see you all in the next one, but until then, keep it beefy boys.